And then, it was over. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the Deep Roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the Blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king. Three wardens stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn Siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. The one who led the final charge against the Archdemon remains with us still. An inspiration to all she saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, May I formally present to my betrothed, who will soon be your queen. My friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. As a reward, and as an engagement present, I offer you a boon of your choice. Now that's a very good point. I think we can begin with a monument here in Denerim, dedicated to the Grey Wardens who have fallen. Duncan, Riordan, all of them. And it is high time some scholars were collected to learn more about the Darkspawn. We'll face them again, with the Dwarves as well as here. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine wants the land of Arl Howe is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. So what are your plans? I assume with the wedding you will be remaining in Ferelden. Well, I didn't want to come right out and say it, but I'm relieved you'll be nearby. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready. So, we made it. I'm impressed, aren't you? I was so scared that I might lose you. But... Here you are, and here I am. Not bad, right? I bet this had something to do with that night, with Morrigan. Why you're still here, I mean. I'm not that dumb. The rest of the Grey Wardens haven't arrived yet for Morlay, but they've already sent questions. What should I tell them? That a Malefica saved you and then ran off to have my demon baby? That has a certain ring to it, right? No, I suppose I'll just keep that to myself. I can shrug and look stupid. It's a talent. Speaking of Morrigan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. Very dramatic. I don't imagine she'd be easy to find if she didn't want to be. At any rate, I can't wait to be alone with you. 
These formal affairs drive me insane. Oh, I'll be waiting. Don't you worry. I'll let you get to your adoring public. They want to see the hero of Ferelden, and who am I to keep them waiting? So it survived after all. My impression that all creatures made of flesh were hopelessly squishy was, uh, premature. No doubt. It has proven to me, however, that fleshiness does not automatically mean squishiness. It has made me revise my opinion of its kind, my kind. I am, or at least was, a dwarf. A creature of flesh. I have to keep reminding myself that. In fact, I think I may even try to become one again. Wynne has offered to accompany me to Tavinta to speak with the mages there. The Circle of Minrathrus has the largest collection of arcane knowledge in Thedas. If it is possible to reverse this process, then the knowledge to do so will be there, or that is my hope. And if not, then I will keep looking. I have nothing if not time, yes? Hmm. I would not object. But surely it has better things to get up to. I intend to return eventually, unless I finally decide to destroy all pigeons everywhere. That may take a while, but otherwise I will come back. If it happens to one day see a tiny little dwarf who appears very nervous of being squished, that will be me. Until then, I wish it well. It, you, have been a fine friend. When I heard that my little sister was not only a Grey Warden, but also leading Ferelden into battle, I was surprised, to put it mildly. Father, he would have been so proud of you. I know I am. You've done good. I never made it to the Battle of Ostagar. We were still scouting in the wilds when we were attacked by a party of Darkspawn. Most of my men were killed. I woke up two weeks later in a chastened hut, wounded and feverish. By the time I was able to sneak out of the wilds, you were already marching to Denerim. I tried to get word to High Ever. You can imagine what happened, I suppose. Yes, I'm trying not to think too much about them. How was a greedy, traitorous bastard. I just wish I'd been there to help you kill him. At least Amaranthine now belongs to the Grey Wardens. There's some justice in that, I think. I need to go back to High Ever. See if I can clean up the mess Hal made of it. I will see you soon, I hope. Good. High Ever won't be the same without everyone around. Take care of yourself, you hear? Or I'll find you and nag you like Mother did until you're ready to tear out your hair. It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the civil war and then defeated the Blight. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. It's good that you're staying here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden will have influence, and there is much to be done. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, and Isolde refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. Tell me, have you noticed anything? Strange about the lad. He seems quiet. Ah, you are no doubt correct. It is my imagination, I am sure. But here I am rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. So here we are. The conquering heroine has won the day, and now she takes her bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. And my part was small. I'm happy to watch you receive the accolades, it's quite fun. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly is.
You should know. I'm thinking of going back to Orlais for a while, to find Marjolaine. I don't know how long I'll be gone. I'll try. This is something I have to do, however, on my own. Perhaps we will see each other when I return. I look forward to it. Until then, be well. May the Maker watch over you. I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the cross to appear at any moment. Which would be a welcome break, mind you. Eventually, with Talison dead, it may take them time to figure out what has happened. But they are like the tides, predictable. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that you are planning on remaining here, is that true? Hmm, and if I said I was thinking of moving on, seeing the sights, uh, meeting new people and killing a few? This is true. If I happen to return on occasion with a string of crows behind me, be a good friend and kill them for me, yes? Yes, I think that will work, sad as I am to part company. Well then, I suppose I shall be leaving soon. Mm, perhaps Parvolen. The Canary are pleasant folk, I hear. I hope fate decrees we meet again. Bon Nibiati, as we say back home. Drink well and be merry. Life is good. The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? Of that I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? I don't think many heroes ever do. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter, but I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to travel. Shale has expressed a desire to go to Devinter to look into a way to regain her mortality. And uh, I will join her. It's true, I don't know how much time I have. Maybe not very long at all. So, I shall see as much of the world as the Maker allows. Perhaps this is a gift in the end. A nudge in the right direction? I doubt we will meet again, my dear. If not, please accept my best wishes. <laughs> Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. <laughs> the ale up here is actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. <laughs> Go figure. After what we went through, <laughs> I think I've earned it. I think you've earned it. So I guess you're staying here in Denerim? Unless my hearing's bad, which happens. I'm thinking I'll stick around myself, <laughs> at least for a bit. I'm getting used to that big sky up there. And I'm thinking I might just look up Felsi again, see where that goes. Ha! <laughs> I'll drink to that. Ah, well, enough babbling. That pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. <laughs> Who, me? It's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. They call you Hero. I have not heard it used before, but I think I understand the intent. The Arishak on occasion has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, 
one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however. A death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vale would be too proud. When a Kunoran Vale is declared, certainly. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. Yes, I suspect Parvolin will not look the same as it once did. My views have changed a little. It must be said. You found my sword and gave me a chance to restore my honor. I owe you a great debt. It has, that one of the Baz, a foreigner, would become known as Kadan to me. Unthinkable. Yet here it is. Perhaps I shall see you again one day. Until then, may you always find the path you seek. Farewell, Kadan. Are you ready, my lady? The crowds outside are getting restless. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me. <laughs> 